welcome guys in this video we are going to make this amazing template so to get started so we are going to draw an horizontal line go to your shapes then click on the horizontal line now we need five of these and then we need this to be on a straight line to make it 180 so i'm going to break bring up my calculator right now okay so you need 180 degrees divided by five so this is 36 each so that means we need 36 degree rotation for this and then to make it a complete 180 degrees so the first one will be at 36 degree Okay, so I'm going to make five of this right now and then continue to add up the 36 degree multiplied by 2, which is 72 degrees. So that's 72 degrees. Okay, so arrange, arrange, arrange them. Okay, then let's speed up the whole process to make it five. So we have five now. Okay, so I'm drawing this circle and then I'm going to duplicate this, make it Change the color. I'm going to make the color uh, light ash. So change the color for every one of the of it. Then delete. Okay. So remember to delete the line that we initially draw. So those lines will be deleted. Then I'm going to add some shadow sh shadow to this. Let's add the inner shadows. So add in a shadow, shadow to each one of them. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to delete this circle. Then I'm going to use this first, one, this second one. So delete this one. Then this circle again. So duplicate this to make this double. But before doing that, let's okay. So let's just make a double then. So we change the color. Remove the line. Remove the line as well. Let's flip this color. Let's flip this other to the um, to horizontally. Let's do gradient fill. Then sample the color. Let's pick a color here. Let's change this color from gray to yellow. Then the second one. Let's change the color to another color. Let's pick the that color. 
then add another one. Let's pick another color. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for the rest. So, okay, then I'm going to create another circle again. After doing the gradient view for about seven colors or six colors, then this is another circle that I drew. Then I'm going to remove this line and I'm going to place this on on top of this um, those two circles that I drew initially. So make this color another color. So this is gradient view. Alright, so I'm going to draw, so I'm drawing a small circle here. I'm going to make it solid, although it's going to be gradient here at the end of the day, but I want to duplicate this, so it's going to be a double circle. Make this smaller, right, change the color to something else. Okay, so we can see the two right now. Okay, then play around, make it gradient fill. So make the two a gradient fill. Then you should have something like this, and you should have to set this like this, and send the other one that way. So we have this gradient view, then let's create a rectangular shape, curve. Click on the yellow icon to make it curve. Send this to the back. Just click on that to make it curve, yeah, so it's already at the back, then shift it a little bit. So I think this is what we need, and we, have not, we are going to duplicate this into about five places now. Okay, so make it different colors, right? So I'm going to make it good and few using two color, the first color and above, uh, the first color above, then the second color mixed together, right? So I'm going to be mixing these colors together. Yeah, so do the same for for the rest. So again, I'm going to make a smaller circle, a smaller circle here, which is going to be two. The first one is going to be um, transparent while we have a line, while the second one will be filled with another color. So let's make the bigger one for now. Let's make it yellow, but it's going to be with no fill. Then I'm going to give it a solid line. Yes, yellow, right? Okay, so just put the smaller one inside the bigger one, then you have something like this. Okay, so you make it five, yeah. Just duplicate. Always remember to group them using Ctrl G. So I'm going to draw a line that link to the first shape that we have by the right. Okay, so pick a line from there, then here, okay. So let's play around with this line. Okay. So I think this is okay. Yeah. I'm just playing around to see if I can make it different. Make it different. Okay. So it's fine this way. Then I'm going to make something similar to this at the lower bottom as well. Let's drop another shape. Okay, then let's connect this down. Okay, let's leave it at the first one. Then let's draw this to the back. Just play around with that circle, with that small dot to you get your desired shape. So just duplicate for the rest. Okay, so I need icons here. I'm going to need about five icons. So I'm going to click from analytics, then from business as well. Let's click about two or three here. and then search as well okay so search 
then settings so let's go to business and see if we can pick one or two from there okay so this is fine this is equally fine as well then let's insert so this has been imported let's change the color to white all at once then let's make this smaller right so let's put each one of these on this um, on these circles on this okay then let's let's speed up make it on the rest then we'll put the bigger one here we're going to delete this bigger one again today so change the color to match what we have there then place it ensure they're in the center then let's put some text some numbers make it bigger change the font to whatever you want then let it go up change the number to, to match the color on the wheel on that gradient field So we speed, we speed up for the, the speed of the whole process. Now we're making a rectangular bar on the middle of this. We're going to make it about five. We're going to make it five and then change the color to match all the colors of the um, of what we have on the right side. Okay, so let's make let's align them on the same. So let's align, make it let's put Evelyn and let's make them at the top, at the bottom. Okay. So right now we have this. Okay, so I'm just shift this to the back. Okay, so then input some text, five step model, then play around with some of these things, just enlarge, make it more center, then um, do some editing just to ensure it's, this is what you want. And then I'm going to insert some text here. So um, the first one will be adding which one, which is um, option one, then put some text at the bottom. I'm going to put some random text which you can edit yourself if you want then make it at the center then I'm going to duplicate both text you can just press ctrl G to group the two option and then this text below it and then I'm going to duplicate this on every other um, or yeah I'm going to duplicate for the rest as well then you can make you can add some animation if you want but in this video i'm not going to add any animation because our time is um, fast spent thank you so much guys for watching this video to the end i hope to see you in the next one